Okay, I've been wanting to do this video for a while. I'm a huge fan of NixOS, uh, and I know I've gotten a lot of people excited about the idea of NixOS, or maybe you've heard about it. Um, and this is kind of an, uh, a walkthrough install guide of just downloading NixOS, um, and then getting it installed, and like the basics of getting stuff uh, set up and installed. Obviously, there's a million rabbit holes you can go down. Uh, you can get as nerdy or whatever as you want, but this is just the basics. So um, first, let's go get NixOS. I just go to Google and type in NixOS, uh, and then you'll go here. Now, Nix is a package manager, but it's also uh, a Linux operating system. Not gonna get into that right now. What we're talking about is NixOS, the operating system. So I go to download, and the first thing you'll see is Nix, the package manager. Don't want that. Go down to NixOS, the Linux distribution. That's what you want. Um, you can download, um, looks like you can download ARM, Intel, and Plasma, or GNOME. I always just do GNOME. And for this setup, I'm going to um, set up GNOME as well. So real quick, let's get this downloaded and then I'll be back. All right, and we're back. We've downloaded uh, the NixOS ISO. Um, so obviously if you are um, installing this on, you know, on bare metal and hardware, I go ahead and flash it to your USB drive. If you're using Mac or Windows, Etcher is a good thing to do. Um, if you're already on Linux, you probably know how to make an ISO into a flash drive. So I'm not gonna cover that here. Uh, and I'm going to be uh, installing this on uh, a VM just so this is a lot easier to record. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead. Da, 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 da. All right, so GNOME, I'm gonna give it four gigs of RAM, 40 gigs of drive, yeah, let's go. All right, and when you boot it up, you just wanna to go to the base installer. Um, again, in case you need, unless you need any kind of special, you know, boot parameters. But in most cases, bada, bada bing, here you go. Um, and you will be uh, all set up in GNOME here. Um, if you're on a laptop, you will have to connect to the internet because I'm on a VM. Obviously, this is already wired in and it's ready to go. Um, but yeah, connect to the network, Wi-Fi, whatever, whatever you need. Um, if your laptop, if you're using a Broadcom chip, like it won't be supported out of the box. Um, I actually really like these little Panda wireless things and you can whack it in there. The cool thing is if you have something with like a Broadcom uh, Wi-Fi chip, um, you need to like plug it in, like you need to get it installed first. Um, but if you have, if you install it, uh, NixOS I have found actually picks up the Broadcom. So on reboot, you won't need this. Um, so anyway, here we are, a uh, typical installer. I'm just gonna go through, I set this up, keyboard, basic stuff, user, user, Keep this real simple. Same for admin. Now here's where you can choose um, your desktop environment. Again, you can go with no desktop and build your own NixOS. If you like building your own system up from Arch, um, no desktop is the way to go. This is what I do uh, these days because I have my config files all set up. But for first time uh, going around, I'm just gonna do GNOME here. But again, you could do whatever you like here. Uh, so GNOME, and you can switch it later, and I'm serious, you really can. So allow on free software, obviously if, if you wanna, you can read this stuff, if, if you wanna go hardcore and do only super free software and the licenses matter a whole bunch to you, then you know you can decide what to do. I always do allow on free. Um, I'm just gonna erase disk, swap, no hibernate, do whatever you need to here. This is, if you've installed Linux before, um, all this is, none of this is new. If you haven't installed Linux before, um, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I would just go with swap, no hibernate. Uh, hibernate's not really something um, I've ever really needed, uh, but swap is always good to have. And I'll show you what it's gonna do. Say, okay, hey, yeah, this looks good, install. Okay, so it's gonna partition your drive uh, and then it's going to go ahead and go out to the internet and like download all these packages. Again, this is very, uh, Arch Linux like if um, only with a very pretty installer, but it actually builds the system for us right now. So, um, 
you'll notice that the installer looks like it gets stuck here at 46% and like never goes anywhere. If you toggle the log, you'll see why. Uh, at 46%, that's when it's actually downloading all the stuff from the internet, which like is the longest part of it. Um, so it will go ahead and it will look like it's taking uh, forever. But again, it's it's moving. So you basically just have to like leave it at 46%, uh, let it do its thing, uh, and you know, go get a cup of coffee or something like that. It doesn't take too long depending on the speed of your computer and depending on, um, uh, you know, depending on your internet speed. So I'm gonna pause it right now because nobody wants to watch this. So I'm gonna pause it and I'll unpause once this thing's ready to go again. All right, well, uh, that was fast. So now we are all done. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna check restart now and let's reboot into the system. <laughs> yep, so this is your NuxOS boot screen. Um, you're only gonna see the one option here uh, in all configurations. As you rebuild next, I'm gonna talk about this, um, but as you rebuild next, like these are where your generations will go. So if you've ever had, if you ever have if you ever want to roll back to something, that's where this is. Um, but by default, the first option is always the newest one. That's what you're going to want. And if you don't touch anything, you'll automatically boot into it as well. So let's boot it up. And you'll see good old GNOME screen. All right, let's skip the tour. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So uh, you'll see that Nix OS is installed. Uh, let's go to our settings here um, and let's go ahead and make this dark mode because we definitely don't want to blind anybody on uh, on this video. So yeah, like I said, uh, this is a pretty base um, GNOME install. What's really nice about this is that, again, other than the NixOS wallpaper here, there's really nothing special that got installed. Um, you know, you can see all the apps that are installed. It's really not much. It's a pretty bare minimum uh, NixOS install, which is nice. We get Firefox. Um, we get like a handful of little apps and that's pretty much it. Uh, so we go to our settings here. Um, again, use these all typical GNOME settings. Obviously, if you chose uh, Kitty Plasma or anything like that, um, there you go. So yeah, this will just show you everything uh, that you have installed. So that's it. I mean, if anyone told you that NixOS is hard to install, uh, they either haven't done it in a while um, or they're crazy. Um, so that's the base install. On my next video, I'm gonna show you how to install applications because obviously while this is this is actually great if like if you have if you're trying to give this like uh, your you know kid or your dad or something and all they need is like Firefox um, this would be a, a great thing to to give them but um, you're probably going to want to install set map so I'll go ahead and cover that in the next video